Hi everybody, it's Tina here from Scrapping from the Heart. I'm here to show you my latest project I just finished. Someone had asked me to make them a wedding mini album. So it's I just completed it a little while ago and I want to take you through it. Here it is. It is a spin-off spin -off of Kathy Orta's Everlasting. There you go, you can see the detail on the front. I used... Um, this is a... Um, a Prima sprig, I think they're called there, and then I incorporated some roses and some calla lilies. There's a feather in the back, a little butterfly hidden in there, some glass kind of leafing that I had found somewhere. This is gold leaves. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I added some pearl bling to the side and some pearl around the little dome, and that can actually take a picture. I left enough enough space for her to add a picture in it. Let's see, hope you could see that. Ooh. There. And there's two hearts here, some more bling there, and some more roses there. On the side, it's bound with duct tape, and I added some white rub and buff. And this is a pin that I found in my stash. I think it's one of Tim Holtz pin, but I'm not positive, so don't quote me. And there's just a little bead, and there's a heart lock and a key to go with it. So on this particular album, this is a spin-off of it. This is the original, like this is what Kathy made, but I didn't put as many pages as she did. And I used the hidden hinge system, which I'll show you. But I made my own little template, which is this. And being that I made the hidden hinge, that's why it's open on each side. And then the one side gets, the hinge goes inside of it. But I made my own little template because I, I want it to be simple and easy to use. Um, I just cut this 12 by 5. I scored it at 7.5. And, and then I cut from one corner to the other corner, I cut just a triangle to create that pocket. After I matted it, I put some score tape on the side and just made a pocket for, from it. Um, on the other side, which you'll see, I'm going to take you through, it's in the album, this is just a template. I, I cut a piece of 7 by 5 and I squirted it at, one, at a half an inch and that created a little flap here. And to create the base page, I cut it at 8 and a half, I'm sorry, my measurements are upside down, 8 and a half by 5 and I scored each side at half inch. And that creates the pocket looking. That way you can put it right into the hidden hinge system, which I absolutely love. Love, love, love. Then there's an inside tag, which is cut at 7 3 8 by 5. And that goes inside here. And I'll show you again. You'll see it on the inside of the album. On this book, I use the Romantique Paper Line from Prima. And... Heartwarming vintage stickers, those are from the embellishments, those are from Crafty Secrets. And they were so pretty, I thought they matched perfectly. They're they're like antique -y and really pretty, and you'll see them throughout the entire album. And I'm going to take you through it. Now, there's the front cover, you saw all that goodness in the front. This is the first page. This came from that particular Crafty Secrets this as well. I created another pocket here so she can tuck some mem memorabilia in it, whether it be the napkin or the invitation, whatever she wants to add. There's plenty of pockets, I think. The first page has, mm, I popped this up. That's also from the sticker collection and this lifts up so there's ample room for pictures. It flips over and there's another pocket there and these came in the paper line. I mean, they came all together, but I cut them out. And I added some journaling lines on the back, which is really easy. I used my trimmer. Just found the simpler way to do it. And this is a, a pull-out tag that I added to the side. And they have stickers as well. Like this one has garter. And it pulls all the way out and goes back in. This is the second page. That one says groom. I hope you can see this well. It lifts up. I kept that one in the blue tone for, you know, masculine, kept it masculine. And there's another pocket, and there's a tag, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, in the pull-out. She could add pictures to that or anything else that she'd like to. 
There's another one. That's his first kiss. Lifts up. This paper was... I love this paper. It's beautiful. I thought it was very romantic and I thought it suited the theme properly. Another tag there. There's another one there. It's just beautiful. And the little elements really coordinated nicely with it. Another page. There. These are the birds. Also came in the sticker collection. I added all the lines to the back of the tags. That way she can have her journaling or she can even add more pictures behind here if she'd like. That's his maid of honor. And the bottom says best man. So she could put her maid of honor picture here and flip and there's the best man and maybe both of them. This is another page. I like to keep it simple so it's easier for people to figure out how to use it, especially if they're not really scrappers. It just makes life simpler. And that's that last page. I added some, um, <clears throat> I think it's recollections. I'm not sure. Let me grab it. It's, it's lace with adhesive on it. Of course, now that I look for it, I can't find it. I'm sorry. This one. I think it's Jolie's Boutique. Found it at Michael's. I had my 20% off everything coupon, so I grabbed it, and it really is beautiful. I added it to the front and the back. On the side of this, I used a Martha Sewitt Double Heart Punch. On the side of that, on, on here as well, just to add some elements. Really pretty. And that's it, and that's the back. I added some ribbon here, just to, and that's actually gold duct tape, which I thought is fun. So there's my album. Um, thank you so much for watching. Follow my vlog and have a great day. Bye.